All right, back again. Today we get out the old Sega Mega Drive, and I figured we could put in this game here. Quack Shot. So, pop that in, play some of that. Well, this is a video that uh, my good friend Viper29, he put up uh, quite some time ago, so if you get a chance, you can go over there and check out his channel. He's got a lot of great videos, and he's a really funny guy. And uh, this game is a really good game. I think in general, with a lot of the uh, Disney-related games, they seem to be pretty decent, and this is another one of them. start this up here and if you haven't noticed already our main character is Donald Duck he's traveling around all different parts of the world here I'm just kind of skip through that um, at the beginning here you can choose between three places you have America you can go to Mexico or Transylvania so first off I guess we'll just start at let's start at America here And here we have our very famous and popular duck. Now, his weapon is a plunger gun, which, uh, you know, Donald Duck can't be killing anyone, so with this plunger gun, all it does is it stuns the enemy for a limited amount of time, and uh, after a while, the enemy comes back, so. But some of the funny things in this game, you know, by collecting items, if you eat a bunch of hot peppers, what happens? He goes spastic. <laughs> so there's some pretty cool stuff in this game. And during that time, you were invincible. So it has some, you know, some pretty interesting aspects to it. You can run. Um, it's not as fast as when you're eating peppers, but it's not too bad. More like a waddle, I suppose. <laughs> On some parts of the game, especially like here, uh, this uh, construction guy is saying that there's a big wall here and you're going to need something to get over it so you can't go any further. And you have a flag right here, so hit start, go into your option menu. Also, in the top here, you can choose your different uh, weapons. You have your um, you have your basic plunger gun, and then you have your uh, uh, popcorn gun. So down here, if you have items, uh, it says you can use them, you can watch them, or we can call the plane to uh, take off from this place, and that's what we'll do. Since we can't go any further take off from here and we'll choose a different place. Now, how about we'll choose Transylvania. The concepts in the different stages in this game are pretty cool as well. The music's really catchy. It really is a great game. Um, really looks sharp. It's a lot of fun to play. You snuck up on me. Pennsylvania Castle we're going into here. And this one, you need a way to break through the blocks, so I don't think this is going to work. Nope. So, in this case here, we have to go back outside and uh, go back to our little flag marker again and warp out of this place. So the game kind of makes you backtrack once you get different uh, items. You know, you go back to the places where you were on uh, where you needed them and then you can continue in that part. But it's kind of a cool concept. Here we'll go to Mexico.
Waddle Man. Some of these uh, enemies, like the birds up there, you gotta shoot them really quickly or else they'll start dropping stuff on you. It's like a, a bag full of bees or something like that. A really well designed game, I think. Like I said, I'd totally recommend picking it up if you can find it for a decent price. downfalls is when you shoot you kind of pause and uh, if you're being shot at and uh, you have that slight pause right there at the um, at the moment that you shoot you'll get hit as well so go 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 yeah here's all the, the bees can be quite irritating because they can uh, hit you multiple times. No. Can't go. No. All right. So I'll get back in our plane. Take off again. Let's see here. Trying to remember the order that you have to go into can be quite difficult. We got a key. And with our key, we can go back into the pyramid area. Just, uh, you know, I've mentioned it a, a few times now, but it's an all-around pretty cool game. Just the way it looks, the sounds, concepts behind it, it's pretty, pretty uh, fun to play. Oh, no! Got ourselves some help. Starting to run a little bit low on time here, but just want to show you what uh, Quackshot looked like here for the uh, Mega Drive. And uh, like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.